Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol JNUG. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you're not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. Did this analysis on Thursday, and that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from, and both both basically play into the analysis uh, today and then going forward. So the first point to just kind of uh, make reference to real quick is that, yeah, that 480 mark was a very stubborn area on Thursday, and once again this morning, that first 30 minutes, the price actually crept its way, got very, very close, but right there, it essentially ran out of steam, right? It ran out of momentum right there at that red line again. The problem is, I mean, after that, I mean, there's nothing wrong with failing to break a resistance level, but there does reach a point where you don't want to fail to break a level and then essentially have the chart completely uh, you know, fall apart, which is what happened. I mean, the price fell down here, went sideways, and then spent the afternoon pretty much slow, you know, just sloping lower and lower in the downwards direction. Now, does that mean that everything's destroyed? It doesn't because the price is still above the 425 mark, but 425, definitely a very, very important level going forward. Why is that such an important area? Well, if the price were to come down to 425 and then just continue on down, what would that be doing to the price? Well, from a very literal perspective, that would be putting the price right back inside of that range that it just broke out of a couple of days ago. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true power, true strength, or anything like that. Whereas the reason why I'm not saying that the entire chart is destroyed, I mean, yeah, definitely the chart is looking shaky. There's no doubt about that. But you can't say it's destroyed because maybe the price comes down here and then behaves in that manner. And what would you have in this situation? Well, now all of a sudden you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have those lows right there. And if you envision those as stair steps, well, you still have overall stair steps making progress in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, you know, again, quote unquote progress being defined as that 425 mark. So yeah, a rough day today, but didn't totally ruin the chart or anything like that but we'll see if the price can try to recover or not next week. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.